Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we are going to do an unboxing and then a review of the Daily Grace Planner. So let's look in this box and I will just um, give you my initial thoughts and then I will become familiar with it and come back and do the review on it in the same video. All right, so this is from the Daily Grace Company. This is what your box looks like when it comes. They also gave me some Bible highlighters, which I will test out and let you know how those are. And they also gave me an awesome pen set, which looks really cute, and I will definitely test out those pens. Then you have a few popcorns in here. And then we have the planner. This is a really pretty blush color with gold polka dots and they let me pick my cover. It's pretty and it is the Daily Grace Company. So this is an undated planner and there's what your monthly looks like and here is what your dailies look like. So I am not going to get into this right now. I'm going to go familiarize myself with it and we will come back and get into the review. All right, guys, let's get into the Daily Grace Planner. On their site, they describe it as a planner to accomplish your to-dos, manage your schedule, keep your heart focused on the Lord throughout the day. So those three main things. This is a six and a half by eight and a half uh, book without the coil. If you're not including the coil, it's 12 months undated. Weekends are meant to share a page. So if you were wanting to use this every day and you wanted a page per day, it wouldn't quite last the 12 months. All right, there are two pockets. There's one right here in the front and there's one right here in the back. And I will try to remember to grab those up at the end. I will be completely honest. I just put a clear coat on my nails for this video and it's probably not all the way dry yet and I don't want to mess them up and stick it inside that pocket. So there you go, the truth. I'm usually trying to slap a clear coat on my nails right before I do the video. Okay, so what this is, is the daily undated, like I said. So you have 12 months up front that are undated. This is what your months look like. You have a little box in the corner to write in your day. A lot of times with daily planners, I don't use the months, but I know that a lot of people do. So if you are using this as your only planner, and here is a little note section. I do love the flexibility of a daily undated planner. I do not know the weight of this paper. It feels about 70 pound to me, or 60 pound, um, but I did do a pen test, so I will show you that right here. All right, so here are all the pens, and we did some mild liners right here, and this is one of their scripture markers. They sent me a pack of their scripture markers to try, and I will show you them in scriptures, and we'll talk more about these later on. But I just wanted to see how it went on the planner page itself also. So that's on there. Okay, so the pen test came out really well for me feeling like the paper was probably a 60 pound, um, possibly, or a 70 pound. It, it came out really well. There is no bleed through. Um, there's no like really stark ghosting at all. Uh, you can see some imprint from the pens, but I'm a pretty heavy writer. So that's what it looks like on the back of the page when you have a whole page filled in. You can see right here, the only thing I can really see through is the dark mild liner that I used, which is right there, the darker mild liner. The lighter mild liner is not even like really doing anything substantial. So I think that this paper, while it doesn't feel the thickness of Erin Condren or Inkwell Press, will definitely hold up fine for you with all these normal pens. Sharpie pens, Pilots, Pentel Intergels, all those, and mild liners. So what it is, is after your monthly spreads, you go straight into your undated days, starting right here. And let's go to a new page and go over what this undated day looks like. Okay, so on each undated day, you either have a quote or you have a scripture. And the quote has something to do with Christ, Christianity, or something around that. This is a Christian-based planner. 
as you can tell from the name and from the layout of the page. You have a big margin up here to write your date. So you could also use that for like writing somebody's birthday or something big that was happening that day because it's definitely an ample space for writing your date. Or if you like to just write really big like me. Um, where's that page that I filled in? Yeah, well I guess even with my big handwriting there is still room left up there by your date. Okay, then you just have a simple to-do task list bar right here which is what I use the most in my daily planners. I usually just list my tasks in no particular order to start with, and then I pick out my first three to start with. And I have a whole video on that one, two, three productivity tip. But then they have a big box for a prayer, and then they have a big box for notes, and then they have a big box for daily grace. So they have some suggestions that you can use for your daily grace box. Of course, you could use it for anything you wanted. You could even put dinner in there every day. Um, but here's some ideas. Uh, you can use this section to point your heart to the Lord throughout the day by writing a scripture passage, a quote, an idea, a memory verse, a gratitude every day, or use it for Bible journaling every day for what you read every day. Um, you can also use the prayer section for um, besides maybe who you want to pray for, who's on your mind, or your prayer for the day. You could use it for any of those things also. For a memory verse, a gratitude, Bible journaling, um, scripture passage, or a memorization passage you're working on, or a quote or idea. So although they are labeled, they are just big boxes that you can really make your own and use for what you need them for in your day. Okay, and so that is the bulk of this planner. You have all your daily pages, but like they stated, they intend for you to use only one page on Saturday and Sunday. So if you are not sharing a page for Saturday and Sunday or skipping some other pages throughout the year when you're not so busy or when you're on vacation, um, then you will come up short if you're absolutely using a page a day for the entire year, for every single day. But I find with my daily planners, at least, there are days that I don't use my daily pages. And so I think that um, you will have enough pages like, you know, you may not have a list on holidays, on Christmas days, on vacation days, things like that. Okay, so at the back of the planner, you do not have any notes pages. I want to point that out. It just, it ends with your last page. That's in. Here is your little pocket. Now that I can pull it out. It is not super heavy duty, but you can definitely stick paper in there. And definitely comes out far enough to stick um, stuff in there. And then the back of the planner is just as pretty as the front of the planner. The covers are done really well. They are hard, they feel beautiful in your hand, they have the nice gold corners. The covers are made very well. And the front pocket is just the same as the back pocket. And so let's get into these extras they sent me. So there's not um, a whole lot of extra pages in this planner telling you what to do. And I know a lot of people really like that. It's just your monthly layout and then your daily pages and that's it. And so, it is a planner that is meant to keep your heart focused on the Lord throughout your day and every day of the year. They have two other beautiful covers besides this one. And I'm going to show you the scripture markers that they sent me now. So they sent me these really cool scripture markers. And I just went in and highlighted um, one of my favorite Psalms in the Bible. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. And... What they are, it's a really soft-like, crown-like, matte pencil-like. It's hard to explain. It's really soft and goes on so easy. I can see kids going crazy just wanting to draw with them because they're fun. Here's something I figured out. This rolls them up at the end, but I haven't figured out how to get them back down. So don't roll them up further than they come, you know, until you use it, until you use it up. But it's a really cool scripture marker set because they have some nice um, words on here as like little, you know, turning your heart to the Lord words. Redeemed, loved, chosen, blessed, restored, and forgiven. So that's your whole set of six colors. Really nice. 
and I love the way they feel when they're going on. Now here is something to note. I did notice when I closed my book that a little bit of the pink rubbed off on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is something that if you are like rubbing your hand all over the page, it's going to come off a little bit. Um, but if that's not a big deal to you, then these are really fun to work with. And then they also sent me a set of their beautiful pens. And they really are beautiful pens. These all come in a set. They would make a great gift, and they just write like a normal ballpoint pen. I actually have it on my pen testing page in here. Let me get that back for you guys. So where I wrote cut up carrots, because I was going to start a daily list here. Then I did my pen test. Where I wrote that, that is their pen. So to me, it's like a light black or a bluish black. It's just a ballpoint pen. But it makes a really nice gift, I think, because of how pretty it is and the little quotes that they have on it. Know his promises, rely on his word, love his name, rest in his grace, and trust his hand. So if you just needed ballpoint pens or if you wanted to get someone a pretty set, um, that is a really pretty set. So they just sent me these two goodies. Um, as a complete surprise and then this comes with your scripture highlighters which is kind of nice if you want to assign a color to you know different subjects that you're going to only mark that subject or that thing in that color you can write that out on this card and then they give you some tips on maybe bible highlighting can help you focus and go deeper into the text here are some possible categories to help you create your own highlighting guide on the other side of the card so they give you some possible categories on here to help you get started. But that is it from the Daily Grace Planner, you guys. It is a simple daily undated planner you can pick up and use on any day. And then don't use if you don't need it on other days and not feel bad that you're not wasting days there. So thanks for joining me and happy planning, you guys. See you next time.